Please tell me you can hear me now. I think that should do it. <laughs> If you guys can hear me, just shout out. And also tell me if my volume is okay or everything, because this is a new setup. So... It it should work. I, I think I see it here. <laughs> okay, I see people saying yes. So assuming you guys aren't trolling me or anything, then... Uh, yeah, it should be good. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, I'm gonna trust most of the yeses, so we'll, we'll just go with that. Alright, so, technical difficulties aside, we are good to go now. So, as I said, or as I was saying, even though I was muted, because this is a new streaming setup I have, I will lower the volume a little bit, though, because it does seem a little bit loud. And plus, you're gonna, you're gonna want to hear the cutscenes in a bit anyways. Uh, but yeah, so, I will be live streaming... Probably one of the most cursed mods ever made in the history of modding. Probably an exaggeration, but yeah. Um, this mod is playing as none other than your favorite content creator, which is supposed to be me, you know? Favorite content creator. Me, you know? Uh, but anyways, let's get right into it. So I'll just be doing a full campaign playthrough, cutscenes and everything. I will let you hear the cutscenes because I did add some silly custom dialogue into the campaign uh so yeah let's uh let's get started uh, i was debating whether i should turn the acrophobia skull on or not for this just kind of fly through the missions but i think i'll keep it off just you know it's more fun i guess so if you guys are all ready looks like we got a good amount of people let's let's get right into it And just so you guys know, this is only the beginning. <laughs> I've got a, quite a few other cursed ideas with this. <laughs> they let me pick. Did I ever tell you that? Choose whichever Spartan I wanted. Also, to, to those asking, um... I'll, I'll, I'll be quiet when I'm speaking in the cutscene, but uh, to those soldier, asking uh, when this will be released, I will release it after the stream like is finished, others, assuming there's no major issues with the mod. And swift and brave. This is also my first full a test of the mod, leader. so you guys will be helping me spot bugs and stuff that I might need to fix before releasing something it. Something no one saw but me. Can you guess? Luck. Was I wrong? This ain't good. Damn. How far did he fall? Two kilometers. Easy. Stay sharp. Gorman? His armor's locked up. Gel layer could have taken most of the impact. You know, when uh, me and Jabobs were working on this model, know, Sergeant we joked that, like, the, the model looks so, like, mangled, but it's pretty accurate for someone that fell from, like, space. <laughs> so it's realistic. <laughs> Radio for Vuitton. Heavy lift gear. We're not leaving them here. Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? Oh, crazy fool. Why do you always jump? One of these days, you're gonna land on something as stubborn as you are. And I don't do bits and pieces. Where is she, Chief? Where's Cortana? Don't make a girl a promise, if you know you can't keep it. 
Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Corporal, make it quick. Oh, Sorry, sir. Your armor's still in partial lockdown. <laughs> look up here, sir. Getting okay. my model to speak just makes it look so, so cursed down and terrifying, here. actually. Good. <laughs> Everything checks out, Sergeant Major. Kick off the training wheels, Corporal. He's good to go. without you two trying to kill so, each other. There's gonna be a few floating things here and there Word because so I'm not the same height as Master Chief. Uh, and then making me the same height would like have to like stretching me out a lot. And they must look, love the spell. It would look even worse than it is already. So there's gonna be a few weird things here and there. <laughs> but yeah, so <laughs> It's not just cutscenes. I also had this in gameplay. I saw some people asking earlier, but it is it will be in third person because I feel like in third person it's uh First it's more fun that way. Move out. Plus how often do you get to play Halo in third person anyways? So yeah, here I am. There's me. Third person. And uh, in case you're wondering, yes, I can also dual wield, <laughs> um, and I do have shields. I, I wasn't sure if I should take the shields off or not, uh, but I think like for my own sanity, especially if I play on higher difficulties, I would prefer to have shields. We can just explain it as my my T-shirt, my my really nice Xbox T-shirt is like has like shields built in or something. It, it's really good material. <laughs> Sergeant Major, Phantom inbound. Spread out, you will. So, to answer some questions about the making of this, uh, <laughs> I did 3D scan myself into this. There were, um, I actually pretty much got my uh, friend Jabob to help me 3D scan myself, but it, it took several attempts. Uh, we, we didn't have like an actual professional 3D scanner, so... We used an app on Android that that lets you basically have to like walk around whatever you're scanning, and it'll, it'll take like a lot of pictures. I, I think in our case, our scanning session it, it took like like 40 or 50 pictures, or even 60 pictures like from all angles everywhere, and then it'll, it'll like stitch the pictures together into a semi-accurate 3D model. It's a free app too. Uh, you can look it up. I think it's on iOS as well, so you probably on both Android and iPhones, but it's called like Polycam, so you might be able to get it. it it's free, and, and it comes with a free trial. The free trial, is, it, it's, it's, it's enough for what you need. It, it'll, it'll get you the scans and everything. So, if you guys want to try it out, you, you can 3D scan yourself as well, or, or really any object. Although, I, I suspect the app was really more meant to uh, scan like individual objects, like, I don't know, like a water bottle or something. Uh, it, I don't think it was necessarily meant to 3D scan a whole person, but it, it works, uh, and, you know, the, the result turned out okay. Um, let me turn the game bump down a little bit. Okay, so, yeah, it kind of works when you 3D scan a person, but it, it did take us several attempts to get the model just right. I, I think the first attempt, I was like, I, was, I looked a lot more mangled in 3D model. And, um, the, I, I think I was like also missing limbs in the first, in the first few scans, uh, or, or like, I wasn't missing the limbs, but like the limbs were like, <laughs> kind of like malformed or like in the wrong place, or I might even have like an extra limb or something like that. So, it took several attempts, and then even after we got the scan, like, to an acceptable state, I had to, uh, it, I, we had to like fix it up a bit, uh, quite a bit, and then we had to rig it to use like Master Chief's rig, or for the cutscenes, we had, I actually had to use a Marine model rig for that to get it working. So it, it's it's quite a few steps. Uh, unfortunately, it's not just like drag and drop, and it, it'll replace it. But it's a uh, it was a really fun project to do. Uh, 
Ah, end of Forerunner. I see your question about getting it to work in uh, multiplayer. <laughs> yes, I, I've, I, I have a map sitting that's in testing, but one of the things I want to do after this is uh, do like a... I, I want to get like a play session going, get like some people in it, but like I want to do like either free for all or big team big team slayer or something like that where like everyone is just playing as me <laughs> and, like we're all just like running around as me just like killing each other in slayer or something Hold like on. that Got a contact. I i've done it with like with like one other person right now on a 1v1 and it just looks hilarious <laughs> I, I could not stop cracking up the entire thing but eventually i would like to get like big team battle on sand trap going or something like that <laughs> So, uh, do drop. I, your idea there, getting other content creators in. Um, let's just say the thought has crossed my mind. I was gonna put a tweet out on Twitter later, uh, down the road, but I guess I guess I'll say it now and maybe get some get some people on board with it. But one idea I had later down the road is um, once the Halo Reach modules come out, they're not available yet. But once they're out, um, I, I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to see like if other content creators would be like interested in getting scanned into the game as well. And if so, I could like actually replace members of Noble Team in Halo Reach with uh, content creators or, or anybody really. But it'd be funny to get like other like Halo YouTubers as members of Noble Team. Like I don't know, I would be Noble Six, and then someone like Hidden Xperia could be I, I don't know Carter or someone else, and, and so on. And. <laughs> It would be even better like if, if I could get them off like redub the audio as well. <laughs> we could have like a Halo Reach community edition, but with um uh, with with just the content creators. <laughs> See how they bait their trap? I will help you spring it. Uh, somebody wanted to see a ragdoll of my body. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I think I had a checkpoint. <laughs> so, here we go. There you go. <laughs> ragdoll works. <laughs> oh, I didn't have a, I didn't have a checkpoint there. What? What? What was? There's a cutscene. How could it not be a checkpoint? All right. Well, not using the ragdoll, so. <laughs> I'm just gonna run through this next part. <laughs> now is where I kind of wish I turned the acrophobia skull on. Come on, you dumb apes! You want breakfast? You gotta catch it. Hey, random video guy, ninety-three. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, let's see what you say there. By the gods, what have you done? Shed the boots blood now, he's must die. Find the ring this is too much. <laughs> hey yeah, I mean if other people saying like <laughs> my body's like mangled or like the limbs are stubs. Like remember at the very beginning of the game, Master Chief, or in this case me, I fell from space like two kilometers. So that's uh that's uh, for someone that fell two kilometers during re-entry from space through a fireball and crashing into the ground wearing only a t-shirt and shorts, I I don't know, I, I think <laughs> I think I turned out pretty well. I'm gonna skip this because I already saw this. And I'm not gonna See not gonna blow myself again to ragdoll. <laughs> yeah. Uh Ian Rodriguez, uh what happened to my feet? Yeah, so I, I, I was standing on grass at the time while 3 scanning, so like I couldn't scan the bottom of my feet because I have no way to float in real life. Uh, so that's why there's the bottom of the feet pretty much empty because there's no model down there. Oh. 
Oh yeah, so like I did say like it's more fun in third person because like you can actually see your whole model in third person, which actually makes sense in this case. But the downside is that in third person I can't scope in on guns anymore. I uh it just it just doesn't work. Halo three doesn't oh crap. Yeah, Halo three doesn't let you scope in on guns while in third person, so that's a limitation there. Oh, also, like, fun fact, this grabby hammer I'm holding, um, <laughs> if you ever, like, seen, like, people, like, do replicas of grabby hammers, like, I've held one before, like, recreations, and even in real life, they're actually really heavy, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I would not, in real life, I would not be able to hold a grabby hammer like this. <laughs> This isn't as fun as it looks. Cut the power! We're even. Long as we're only counting today. Alright, uh, let's try some dual wielding. <laughs> Kilo two, three. Hey, What's there we go. ETA? Dual wielding. Imminent, Sergeant. Find some cover. Try to clear path. Roger that, Hocus. Friendly gunship, coming in hot. And I, as you can see, I've only been working out. <laughs> I can hold that gravity hammer like it's nothing. <laughs> Focus! Phantom! Oh yeah, the, the next cutscene, uh, Nightshade, um, the intro for Crow's Nest, <laughs> that's another great one too. <laughs> and it has Master Chief dialogue as well. Take the load off! Oh! Alright, just glitch here, there's two of you for some reason. IFF confirmed. Contact is Bell and drop ship. Kilo 23 over. Roger that. What's the word, Kilo 23? Sierra 117 on board. Request priority clearance. Over. Deck yours. Come on down. Uh, yeah, Nuka Cola Company. Oh, I, I remember you actually from previous streams, but yeah, I do have custom dialogue and custom lip sync too. So you're about to see that uh, at the beginning of this next cutscene. So I'll let you guys uh, watch this. Next Sorry for the tight squeeze. Tell the awesome commander her ace is in the, in the hole. Hey, check it out. No way, a Spartan for real. You better not be. Oh man, he's here. Where did you right. find him? Napping. Out back. <laughs> I'll bet. It's good to see you, Chief. Yeah, same here. Let's get you up to speed. The Prophet of Truth's ships breached the lunar perimeter, smashed what was left of the home fleet. Terrestrial casualties from the subsequent bombardment were... extreme. Truth could have landed anywhere, but he committed all his forces here. East Africa, the ruins of New Mombasa. Then, they started digging. What about Halo 4? We stopped it, but only temporarily. <laughs> now, the Prophet of Truth is looking for something called the Ark, where he'll be able to fire all the Halo rings. If he succeeds, humanity, the Covenant, every sentient being in the galaxy... We'll just revert to the last checkpoint, right? Ma'am, I have Lord Hood. Patch him through. Good news, Commander Keys. 
good as it gets, sir. So I see. What's your status, son? Oh, I'm just peachy. Oh, Glad to hear it. Uh... Commander's come up with a good plan. But without you, I wasn't sure we could pull it off. Truth's ships are clustered above the excavation site, and his infantry has deployed anti-aircraft batteries around the perimeter. But if we neutralize one of the batteries, punch a hole in Truth's defenses... I'll initiate a low-level strike. Hit him right where it hurts. I only have a handful of ships, Master Chief. It's a big risk, but I'm confident... Oh, oh yeah, hell, not again. Emergency Silent. generators, now! <laughs> Shielding failed. They're down and charging. As soon as they're up, re-establish contact with Lord Hood. Let you him know... Are all of you vermin. Cowering in the dirt, thinking... What? I wonder... That you might escape the coming fire? No. Your world will burn until its surface is but glass. And not even your demon will live to creep, blackened from its hole to mar the reflection of our passage. The culmination of our journey. For your destruction is the will of the gods. And I... I am their instrument. Cocky bastard just loves to run his mouth. Do you think he liked my shirt? <laughs> Give the order, we're closing shop. Ma'am? We're about to get hit. All personnel, They're wounded. Code alpha we're getting all of them out. I have to carry him myself. You Man, know, like this reminds me of actually. Requesting a rally point. Uh, where should they go? Have you guys ever seen like that uh, Spider-Man game for, on PS4, the new one? Have you ever seen like those? If you like go outside the map, those characters in the boats, they have like those like PS2, PS1 kind of faces. <laughs> this is what kind of reminds camp. me of. Like at certain Motion angles, trackers? like my character looks like a PS, <laughs> like a PS2 yeah. character or something. Any of our birds squawking? No, ma'am. Come on, sir. I'll show you the way. The base was built for some 20th century. All right. Saw some people wanted to see the TR, so that's what I would do. Watch your fields of fire! Point of entry, best assessment! Hangar Sergeant! Agreed, Master Chief, get there! Squad got in the hangar's real short handed, Chief! <laughs> well, thank you, Aston uh, Philip and for life. My fire Glad you think the shirt in. is cool. <laughs> can't hold out forever. It's very nice material, I need that too. Hangar clear for evac ASAP. <laughs> Hey, random video guy again. Whoa. Love my videos, I've been hey. sub for years. Uh, you want to know if I've tried to save the first group of marines on Halo C3 for the Guilty Spark, and if I save them all, will they follow me? Yeah. The marines are a one shot. Um, I'm trying to think. I, I think I did try to save them before. Um, First group of Marines. Th that's that's like when you go into the shelter, right? And then uh, not the shelter, the, the structure. And uh, uh, just like a, you find like a, you, you're still underground and you see a few Marines running around, right? Uh, I if that's the case, I think I have, I think I have like tried to save them before, and I, I think they follow you to a certain extent. I don't remember. I, it's been a while, but I, I know it's possible to save them. But it's really easier with like two people. I, I had like a friend help me at the time, and. It took several attempts, but we, I think we got it, and I just don't remember what happens. I don't think they follow you out. I think they follow you for a little bit, but not all the way out, Down as far there. as I can remember. Wipe those bastards off the deck! Oh, wait. Oh Gotta do this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, like, this is real life. <laughs> My arms would like break off. Pelicans can't launch until the hangar's clear. Oh, the red versus blue Easter egg. Uh, I'm sorry, Demon Briggs. It, it's too late to do that. If I, if the door's closed, and even after that finishes part, if I go back to that section, it won't be there anymore. You gotta go there like four and do part. Uh, I rarely ever use the Thunderstorm Skull. Uh, I think the only times I really use it is uh, 
if I need to do, use up like a glitch or something or experiment, or I'm doing lasso, which is almost never. Like I would never like do lasso difficulty like just for fun. Oh my god, can, can you guys imagine this in Halo Reach when the tools come out? Like, just imagine, like, me or, like, any, like, regular person just doing assassinations in Reach. Hoonsing, they're actually not cargo shorts, <laughs> they're just, I think just regular like basketball shorts or running shorts. Uh, but like the funny thing is like when I was, when they were getting scanned, um, the, the 3D scanning, the scanning app, it, it, it can't tell like the gap between the, uh, between my two legs. So like the shorts get like stretched out and like at certain angles or certain like animations, Sir, it'll, it'll look like a, it's like a skirt in this. Stop! Coming out of the bench! Line them up! Line them up! What the hell are these things, Sergeant? Prone! A whole swarm! Take them down! Short control burst! Uh, where was the turret here? I saw someone earlier say like with my like jump height or something I could I could totally like join the NBA. But like I, I think like even better like with, with how like, how well like I can throw grenades in the game, I could like just join the MLB instead. <laughs> it's not a stir, it's like killing these guys. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I am playing on easy difficulty, just because, you know, we have a lot of missions to get through, uh, so it'd be a lot quicker on easy, and for my own sanity. <laughs> I swear that the the flare is like the most useless piece of equipment in Halo 3. Like in, in campaign, in multiplayer, I guess it can be used to like blind your uh, blind the enemies. But in campaign, I, I'm pretty sure the flare doesn't do anything to the uh, enemies. Like the AIs, they can still see you even even with the flare. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Nuka Cola. I I only do legendary if it's like if it's for achievements or you know. Yeah, actually, actually, yeah, that's the only time I do legendary for achievements <laughs> or if I'm helping a friend with achievements. But otherwise, I have like almost no reason to ever do legendary on Halo Three. <laughs> that would just drive me nuts. Please. Especially solo. Like maybe if friends want to do legendary for fun, maybe I'll like do it once or twice. But, yeah. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, uh, tech, tech Tipsy, I did, I did record my own lines for this. 
Uh, I just kind of came up with random lines, and they get even more random as we get later in the campaign, which you'll see soon. Uh, and uh, thanks to it's a lot of like, new tools and uh, work methods in the community. Uh, not only can you import your own dialogue now in Halo 3, but you can do it with lip sync as well. So that with my own dialogue, my character actually talks too. Uh, Moises, no, I did not change the, uh, I didn't change the death sound. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just, it's still the Master Chief death sound. Shake them off, Lieutenant. But I did show earlier on a previous mission that Ragdoll does work just fine for, uh, for my character. Also, um, Nuka Cola, yeah, the, uh, actually, uh, some Halo nerd, actually, well, both of you guys, uh, so, right, it is just a white shirt, but I've been told, like, it might be possible to actually, like, get, uh, team change colors to work on, <laughs> on the shirt, so that, like, like, when, when the multiplayer version of this becomes available, and you do, like, Team Slayer or something like that, depending on the team you, you're on, the, the shirt color could actually change, but I'm not sure to do that yet. But I, I've been told it is definitely possible, so yeah, that'll be uh, that'll be quite something. Uh, this always happens. There's always like some brute left alive somewhere. I, I feel like it's just like an MCC kind of thing. Oh my god. Oh, this is so hard without like a skill pet. <laughs> no, come on. Yeah, there's always like a brute that either doesn't jump down or gets stuck somewhere like under the map or something. Oh, please don't tell me there's another one stuck up there. Oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> Drone! Go! I'll cover you! Almost through this mission. You will be the protectors of Earth and all her colonies. Vader, what is my favorite Halo weapon? Uh, Sorry, Commander, there were too many. You know, uh, I, I guess it would be the Scarab Gun in Halo 2. But if you don't want to count the Scarab Gun, then I would probably say probably the AR. <laughs> I'm very basic. <laughs> comes to weapons in Halo. I I admit it, I, I do I love AR stars in Halo 3. In fact, controversial Halo opinion of the day, but I totally wouldn't mind AR stars in competitive Halo. <laughs> yeah I know that's gonna that's a very popular opinion. <laughs> that did it chief. Bombs arm. We got your exit. The service elevator in the hangar. Head downstairs, cut through the caves. Uh, Aston Villa, villain, villa fan for life. Um, uh -huh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so when we first worked on this mod, the priority was Halo 3, but we also got the um, we, we got my model into Halo 2 as well. So it's actually already working in Halo 2 just fine. 
minus the lip sync. For some reason, we're having trouble with that at the moment. There but be a great other than that, this, this this works almost perfectly in Halo 2. So Halo 2 is good to go. I'll probably uh, show off the Halo 2 uh, mod eventually once it's refined a little bit. Halo 3 ODST um, should work in that. In fact, it should just be drag and drop. Halo 3 tags mostly can go into ODST without any changes. So that, yeah, shouldn't be an issue there. Uh, <laughs> Chris. <laughs> AR starts. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so ODST should just work perfectly like this. In, in fact, I could, within one night, I could probably roll out like a ODST mod, but like the rookie is me or, or everyone is me. Oh my god, that would look so, that would be so cursed if every character is just me. I'm talking to myself and everything, fighting myself or whatever. <laughs> but, yeah, ODSD should be fine. And uh, I mentioned earlier that uh, when the Reach mod tools come out, they're not out right now, but when they do come out, I wanted to, um, to get other people, like maybe other content creators or friends even, into Halo Reach as members of Noble Team. So that everyone on Noble Team is just someone you know, something like that. This place will become your home. This place will become your tomb. Oh yeah, so Nuka-Cola, I've only voiced it for Halo 3 at the moment. But, uh, so actually that's the thing I still need to do in Halo 2. I still got voice the lines in Halo 2. I already, um, I already have one idea for a possible, uh, for one, for a line in Halo 2. At the end of the, uh, Halo 2 campaign, you know, when, a uh, Chief arrives in the Forerunner ship, Lord Hood is like, um, he's like, you know, it isn't one of ours, take it out, and the Chief's like, this is Spartan 117, can anyone hear me? Over. I, I just want to change that line to, like, hey guys, it's General Heat here, how's everyone doing today? <laughs> and then Lord Hood will be like, isolate that signal. <laughs> I, I, think, I think that would be, like, a perfect line in that case. <laughs> Chief's got the right idea. Let's mount up. Oh yeah, I got like I got like caves. flashlights in my eyes <laughs> or on my Let's cheeks. <laughs> Oops. Oh, and, uh, I've also got a lot of requests for like um, tutorials on this, so I can I can do like a basic tutorial for like the 3D scanning part. You know, like which app to use or if you have like an actual 3D scanning device, like a Kinect sensor or an actual one, I can do a tutorial for that. But actually preparing your 3D model to get it into the game, uh, that requires, it, that's a lot more tricky. And uh, it, it is, it, it does require quite a bit of work on that. And plus rigging it to work in cutscenes, that's another thing too. So I'm not quite sure how to go about that yet. But I will. I'll Don't definitely look into it and see like what we can do, uh, or, or now, maybe we can help some people with it as well. But I, I'm not sure about that yet. But we'll, we'll definitely figure something out, and then more people can get their own 3D models in, <laughs> uh, and then we'll have like the most cursed like era of Halo mods ever. <laughs> My speed run trick here. Gotta grab the grab lift. Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, funny thing is like, uh, I did actually like, I did take some time to think like, of what shirt to wear for the 3D scan, because whatever shirt I chose, that would be permanent. <laughs> uh, and... <laughs> I, I wanted. To, I, I just wanted to pick up. I decided to pick a very neutral shirt. <laughs> um, so I ended up with the Xbox shirt. Plus, I, I think I feel like with brighter colors, it's um, the, the 3D scan is a little bit better than darker colors. I, I think I could be wrong about that, but that's that's the impression I got. With 3D scanning. The better the lighting, the better the scan. Master 
Uh, Moronic Penguin. I did, um... Ooh, uh, so, I did... I did, uh, just for fun, I didn't release it yet, I didn't do any videos of it yet either, but I did replace, like, pretty much almost all the characters in the game with just me. So that, uh, you know, every, just a hundred of me, like, running around fighting each other. Uh, and for the ones that, for the versions of me that replace Marines, it, they also get infected by the flood as well. It, it just looks so, 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 so cursed. <laughs> Uh, sauce. Yeah, I'm probably model pretty much any Halo game. We we already got into Halo 2. And Halo 2 is like almost perfect now. I, I, it just needs my own my own dialogue, and that's it. Uh, and for ODST, ODST should just be drag and drop using my, the Halo 3 model that I have already. Halo Reach, I don't know about that yet. That will probably take some work. But like I said, I, I do, I do want to get more people into Halo Reach, so that's... Oh my god, okay, I'm just going to walk this. <laughs> but yeah, so Halo Reach will be down the road. The mod tool's already been out yet for Halo Reach, so i kind of wait for that. As for Halo 1, I have no idea actually. I've never imported anything from Halo 1 before. Oh, and of course, Halo 4 is the same situation with Breach. Mod tools aren't out yet, so I have no idea. Chief, the Gator boy is dead ahead. Smash the brute blockade. Open her up. And yeah, this, this is on easy difficulty. Uh, <laughs> what was my reaction the first time I saw myself in a cutscene? Oh my god. <laughs> Me and Bob's when we did it, we were just like cracking up. It just looks so. <laughs> I, I feel like just calling it cursed is just an understatement at this point. But <laughs> it was just like I was like crying, mortal laughter. Like I've never seen anything so like that ridiculous before. <laughs> Uh, no, I was, yeah, I was wearing sh uh, sneakers, <laughs> but I was standing on grass, so the 3D scan, it couldn't really get the shoes too well, so that's why it, that's why it looks kind of messed up there. I mean, with like an actual professional 3D scanner, or even like a like so something that's not just a phone, like a smartphone, I probably could have gotten like a better result for the 3D model. But that's uh that's what we had at the time, and I, I think the results turned out pretty well. Yeah. Plus, I feel like how cursed the model is adds a little bit of the charm to it. Uh, so I'm not bothered by it. But I think in the, for future scans, I think I can probably get better results now that we have a better idea of how this works. So we'll see where this goes in the future. <laughs> Ready when you are, Chief. Open the door, take point. We'll cover you with the fifth. Try to speed run this mission a little bit too. Most of the big cutscenes aren't until like later in the, in the game. <laughs> Atmospheric disturbance is intensifying above the artifact, Admiral. Sierra 117. Moving as fast as he can, sir. I know he'll get it done. 
Imagine like punching like a metal hatch open <laughs> on a race with just like bare hands, like bare knuckles. Target destroyed. Move to the next area. Over. The texture is off a little bit uh, for numerous reasons. So we scanned this while we were outdoors, while standing on the grass. So especially like the underarms, um, the, the the scan wasn't too good down there. So some of the grass, some of the scan, the, the grass kind of got scanned into it. In fact, like the whole like area around me got scanned. So that had to be like cut out of the final model. But because of that. Um, some of those textures kind of mixed in with the wrong parts of the model, so you got anti -air rates that's, that's why we got like really Benji. weird results. One down, one to go. Yeah, it probably would like, I probably would like break my knuckles if I actually try to punch a metal hatch open. <laughs> I was debating for a while whether to actually keep this in third person entirely or have some first first person for gameplay. I, I just I decided on third person just because you could see your whole model. Because that that makes sense because like you know the point of holding this whole mod is you know you're playing as your own 3D model. So that's why I kept it in third person. But if I wanted to do first person, um, it, I, I was told it, it is also possible to have first person uh, arms and legs as well, first person body, but even if you can see my arms and legs in first person, I, I I feel like it'd still be a lot more interesting and fun in third person. Plus, you know, we've all played Halo 3 in first person for years, many times over. I feel like hey, hey, having it in uh, third person was a nice change. Stand by. Something we don't Something get to do very often in a Halo game. Location. Let's get in there and take some scouts! Uh, yeah, so angry. At the moment, first person, if I switch to first person, it would just be Chief's arms. Because we never did the first person models. But we could have if we chose to keep it, if we chose to be first person. And from what I'm told, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't be too bad to do that. But I, I, I prefer to in third person, so. That's why we didn't bother doing first person arms and legs. Grand, Grand Turismo fan, it, it actually wouldn't be that bad, because um, the, I'm, my model's just using the Master Chief rig, so all of Master Chief's animations in first person would just automatically be on my model, so it would just be a, just be a matter of, um, well, literally cutting up my body <laughs> in 
through the first person parts and then make sure, making sure it's like still rigged, the Master Chief rig. So it, th th I, th that's that's kind of like a, in a nutshell um, what it would take, I'm pretty sure. So it wouldn't be too bad, but like I said, we just wanted well to do, done, Chief. we wanted third person for I'm this sending in a few pelicans. for now. One more target, Chief. It's a Covenant AA gun in the next area. Take it down and Lord Hook can start his attack run. We've got this area locked down. Uh, yeah, so uh, Gamer654. We'll like I said, I, I might try to do a tutorial about this. I'm not I am your shield. not quite sure how to go about I it yet because it is a little complex. Like, I, I wish it was just drag and drop the model and it works, but it's not. And it, it, it's a little... It, it's a lot of steps. And you, you need like, a lot of tools and experience. Oh wait, guys, uh, real quick, there's a little uh, fun glitch that only happens on MCs that I like to do every time for fun. So watch this uh, dock worker here. Yeah, if you like headshot him, he, he just like, he breaks out that pose and just like flies across the room. That only happens on MCC, it does not happen on any other version of Halo 3. There's plenty well, of fights the, Essentially a 360 Stand version, it doesn't happen on that. Oh my god, I almost died there. Oh my god! Oh my god, he spawned. I flew too far out of the map. Ah, uh, Halo 3 checkpoints. I mean, it's not bad here, but. Uh, that was my bad. My mistake. <laughs> Green Knight. Oh, actually, yeah, so. The uh, $60 laptop. I'll, I'll show it off with MP maybe somewhere, somehow. But. Yeah, uh, for anyone that like lives near a micro center, if you guys ever been to like, that store before, micro centers are amazing. It's like it's like Charlie's Chocolate Factory before like PC builders or PC gamers. But uh, they had a sale recently where you could get like this really like basic laptop for sixty bucks, and like I just I just I just impulse bought it, <laughs> bought it, not buy it. I impulse bought it, and I mean it, it, it's. It's a no frills laptop, it's pretty basic, but still. <laughs> 60 bucks, you know. Wow, I'm gonna make a run for it. <laughs> I'm being chased by a lot of brutes. <laughs> I didn't grab a rocket launcher.
Hey, Brandon, I'm the leader. Thanks so much. I'm glad you're liking the content, too. This is the way the world ends. Alright. Almost time for the dialogue. <laughs> what did Truth just do? No, sir. But he certainly did something. Get back wounded and regroup. Wherever truth went. Sir, new contact slipping in. What is it? More brutes? Pretty obvious it's not. Oh, the lip sync is broken there. Okay, I need to jot that down. <laughs> so, uh, I'll just remember it, but yeah, okay. I, I, I knew like some missions the lip sync was a little bit broken, but that'll be an easy fix. The mod will still be released later today, don't worry. And I might want to turn the bind there up a little bit too, that sounded a little bit low to me. Flood. It's spreading all over the city. How do we contain it? Find the crashed flood ship. Overload its engine core. We either destroy this city or risk losing the entire planet. All squad, report! Chief, make your Hold way to the, the crash site. Oh, yeah, so... <laughs> I don't know if you guys Come saw there. my video on Twitter. I, I, think, I, I posted one on YouTube too, actually, so if you didn't see it, it should be there now. But I do have a video of uh, my body getting infected by the flood on this mission. <laughs> It's like, it's like the most cursed thing, <laughs> even more cursed than just my, my, my myself talking cutscenes. So. There's like so many more cursed variations. Like we are cursed. Uh, who's Steam? I, I can't get infected right now though, because I'm playing as Master Chief. Well, I'm replacing Master Chief, and Chief can't get infected, so this version of my model can't get infected by the flood. But I do have a version where I can get infected by the flood. It, it's just not in this version of the mod. Uh, uh, Xeno Reborn. Wait till you see this in, uh, Halo 2. But, like, like, uh, my character's, like, held by the Grave Mind's tentacles, and he's, like, breathing, like, plus force <laughs> on me. Now, I, I haven't actually tested that scene yet in Halo 2, but, like, I can already see it in my head. It's gonna look so hilarious. <laughs> the sergeant, they were all infected! Alright, Aston Philofan, uh, thanks for dropping by. Glad, glad you enjoyed this. <laughs> Kill humans and take heed. This is the carrier, shadow of intent. Clear this sector while we deal with the flood. Too many flood. 
<laughs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Tiger, you're right. Hail human to take heat. I didn't even, I didn't even think of that, John. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, that line actually makes more sense now. Angry's right. The t-shirt, it's a really nice, it's made of very nice, so high quality sure. material. That's why it protects me from like anything in the game. That's mine. Finders keepers. If we do not take this device to a safe location, somewhere I can make repairs. I'm getting some pretty bad vibes from you. Like, you'll turn against me later, like you did in Halo 1. Protocol dictated my response. She had the activation index, and you were going to destroy my installation. You did destroy my installation. Now I have only one function to help you reclaim her, as I always should have done. Uh, Green Knight, I don't have the shirt with me, I can't put it on. <laughs> it's probably somewhere else right now. <laughs> Perhaps one of our technicians. That will not be necessary. Chief. Success. Hi, Charity. The Prophet's holy city is on its way to Earth with an army of flood. I can't tell you everything. It's not safe. The Grave Mind, it knows I'm in the system. Skip. I don't like this movie. Let it play. But it doesn't know about the portal, where it leads. On the other side, there's a solution, a way to stop the flood without firing the remaining halo rings. Oh! <laughs> Hurry, Chief. The Ark. There isn't much time. I'm sorry. No matter, Oracle. We've heard enough. Our fight is through the portal. With the brutes and the bastard truth. Fine. We'll remain here. 
Hold out as long as we can. Did you not hear? Your world is doomed. A flood army. A grave mother has you in its sights. You barely survived a small contamination. And you, shipmaster, just glassed half a continent. Maybe the flood is all I should be worried about. One single flood spore can destroy a species. Were it not for the Arbiter's Council, I would have glassed your entire planet. Sir, with respect, Cortana has a solution. Cortana? Did you see her condition? How damaged she is? She could be corrupted for all we know. Her solution could be a flood trap. We should go through the portal. Find out for sure. What we should do, Commander, is understand, clearly, that this is humanity's final stand. Here. At Earth. We go, we risk everything. Every last man, woman, and child. If we stand our ground, we might just have a chance. No. If your construct is wrong, then the Flood is already won. Don't worry. I'll go get Cortana myself and finish this fight. Earth is all we have left. You trust Cortana that much? I don't know. I guess so. Well, this is either <laughs> the best decision you've ever made or the worst. Hell of it is, Chief. I doubt I'll live long enough to find out which. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Imagine Chief actually sent it to Lord Hood. <laughs> he still like, goes along with that. <laughs> Kyle Yon, I was thinking about just redubbing Chief's exact lines, but everyone told me I should definitely do my own lines, and I guess it was more fun that way, so that's why I ended up doing that. Alrighty, <laughs> time for the next mission. Oh, we're almost at the halfway point. Staggered line! Shipmaster! They outnumber us! Three to one! Then it is an even fight. All cruisers fire at will. Burn their mongrel hides. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that laser cruiser. It's weird. The cruise it's... ship isn't taking part in the attack. He must have gone to ground. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. We're so on him. must have gone wrong Kick in, the, the door. in the tags. Should be fixable. I must have like messed up a setting or something somewhere. That's why I'm, I'm streaming this before I release it. It's uh, it's the play test as well. And two Marines. Go, go, go. 
luckily, in gameplay, it's still fine. <laughs> Alright, so this is a bit of a long mission, so let's get going. Check it out. In the sky. Is that... Chief, eyes on. Yeah, uh, so as I mentioned earlier in the stream, sniping in this game is going to be like all, pretty much useless because you can't scope in in third person. <laughs> so you either have to like, you're just going to have to like hit fire it, like literally. <laughs> or use it as a melee weapon. Actually, like, fun fact, I am so bad at sniping in any in any game out there. I just can't snipe at all. So, um, it, it, anytime I, I get into, like, a team snipers game or any snipers match, I always end up getting, like, more, like, melee kills in sniper than I do actual sniper kills. <laughs> yeah, no shades, right? You pretty much have to like 360 no scope. <laughs> 360 hip fire no scope with a sniper. Flat got our pelican too, sir. But before we went down, we spoke. But yeah, since the sniper is gonna be pretty useless in third person, I'm just gonna switch it for a rocket launcher now. Actually, uh, out of curiosity, a little poll or quiz here. During this part of the mission, the arc, which direction do you guys usually go first? Do you usually go left or do you go right? Like, apparently, quite a few people actually uh, they go left first, but I never do that. And then, like, one of my friends, when he found out I, I go right first, he was actually very shocked. So, what, what do you guys actually do at this part? I, I, I'm not sure like what's like supposed to be the right or intended like pathway, but I personally do go right to first instead of left. Oh my god! Wait, I should see if I could drive the AA rate if I could board it. Or hijack it in third person. I don't. I don't think it's possible to do it in third person, but I'll give it a try. All right. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, I don't think it's possible in third person. I can't get like a shot in Root's head. Like I don't, I don't actually know where his head is. Uh, on the right spot. Yeah, I, I, I can't, I can't board the AA raid in third person. <laughs> it's gotta be like a first person kind of thing. So, rip AA raid. Oh my god, that, that ghost boarding animation. <laughs> Oh. 
Uh, yeah, so Supernova. Um, you can't board, you can't hijack the AA race without without headshotting the brute while holding down the board button. Uh, it, it, it just it just won't work any other way. And once the driver dies, uh, the the whole race just explodes. So that's why the uh, that's why the headshot is necessary. Since I have Commander, no wraith anymore, I have a little bit of fun with uh, that. this thing my up descent. here. Once the uh, figure comes in, <laughs> this should be uh, quite amusing. Look! Up high! Here she comes! Is the dawn rated for atmosphere? I guess we're gonna find out! Hey, take cover! Okay, here we go. <laughs> this might actually kill me. <laughs> But we'll see. Oh my god. I actually survived. Uh, Steve Young, so I, uh, I, was, I was discussing this earlier, but my next plan for this, after the whole campaign mod is released, is I'm gonna release a multiplayer version of this, so that everyone that has the mod can, uh, can just do like, Team Slayer or Free For All Slayer while playing as just me. So like, just imagine like Free For All Slayer on Guardian, but like everyone is me. So just a bunch of me's running around shooting each other. It looks so ridiculous. Uh, oh, actually, also, in addition to multiplayer, co-op, this, this will work for co-op too, as long as everyone has the mod. Now, I haven't... So, right now, it, my model only replaces Master Chief. I can get it to replace the Arbiter pretty easily, and the co-op elites as well, but I haven't done that yet. And if I replace the Arbiter, uh, I don't have... I haven't done voice lines for the Arbiter. I, I don't know if it should be me, or if I should have someone else be the Arbiter. I don't know what will make more sense, will be more funny. <laughs> but that's, uh, those are all possibilities. But at the moment, this mod, even on Kubo, only whoever's Master Chief will be me. But it'd be relatively easy to replace all the other characters with, with, uh, with me as well. But for now, I, I, it's just, just me for Master Chief. Uh, yeah, Green, I, I, I've been told that's possible to, to make the shirt change color based on the team. I, I'm not sure how to, do, how, how to apply color change to the model, but um, I, I know it's definitely possible. And that would be really funny to do. So that, like, <laughs> you could have, like, green shirt, red shirts, blue shirts, pink shirts. For Team Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jabobs, if you want to get yourself 3D scan as the Arbiter, uh, that'd, be, that'd be awesome. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta like think of like some silly voice lines for Arbiter as well. Oh my god. Oh, come on, Wraith. Oh, well perfect, we know how to do it then. We can get color change working before I release the multiplayer version of this mod. <laughs> and we, we, we should get like a play test going with like 16 people. Please follow me. Uh, unfortunately, I will not be able to get like character customization for the model, so 
Whatever you apply in multiplayer, it's not gonna apply to my model. But that would be hilarious if, like, instead of, like, Spartan armor pieces, I could have, like, different shirts. <laughs> or, like, yeah, like, for, like, the Spartan customization, like, the Spartan helmet would be, like, make, like a hat or, like, different hairstyles. <laughs> um, or stuff like that. <laughs> Good work, Chief. Link up with our armor on the far side of the wall. Make your way down to the cartographer. I think the model looks a bit less noodly on... Oh, I don't know, really. I think it's about the same, actually. Yeah, it probably doesn't make too much of a difference. Cool, you're right. Halo content drought? What content drought? <laughs> we got a whole new playable campaign DLC here. <laughs> All new hero for the campaign. Uh, so yeah, angry. Uh, there's a lot of ways to do the 3D scans. Um, you can use connects, but from my experience using connect sensors to 3D scan, and I've seen videos on YouTube as well, the results aren't that great actually. What I used was a was an app on my Android phone called Polycam. The Polycam app lets you 3D scan as well. But you, you can use the Connect to 3D scan, but it's just the model could be iffy. Maybe with two sensors it could be even better. Uh, or you could use like actual 3D scanners. There's a lot of ways to 3D scan these days. It's uh, I mean technology these days, right? But the easiest and most successful way for anybody to get started with 3D scanning is with an app on their phone. Um, and I, I don't think the app's exclusive to Android either. I'm pretty sure it's also on uh, on iPhones too. Uh, but like I said, it's called Polycam, one word. So just check the app store for it and it might be there. But the way it works with the phone is that you can set it like manual or auto mode. But basically you're just walking around your, the subject or whatever you're scanning. And uh, as you're walking around... It, You'll, you'll just be taking like a lot of pictures from different angles and then the more pictures you have the more accurate the model will be usually <laughs> uh, and then after you're done scanning it'll take all those pictures and it'll, it'll combine together into a, a, a 3d model and that's that's basically how it works in the simplest way oh my god yeah gr green knight <laughs> no so if you guys haven't heard the news today is the last day of internet explorer getting support so after today, for most people, Internet Explorer is no longer supported. I actually like Internet Explorer, and that's another opinion I'll probably get uh, in trouble for, but Internet Explorer is great. I still use it sometimes, uh, but I'll explain after this cutscene what I use Internet Explorer for still. But here we go.
Whoa, that's some really cool graphics. Are we outside the galaxy or something? Two to the 18th light years from galactic center, to be precise. So what is this place? The Ark. Huh, I guess that's pretty cool. I had always assumed it was part of a shield installation, but it seems I was mistaken. <laughs> yeah. Not at all. While I had a complete understanding of installation 04, my makers wisely limited my knowledge of all other strategic facilities. Compartmentalization, in case I was ever captured by the flood. Can you tell me where the nearest McDonald's is? Here. And Taco Bell? Near one of the Ark's superliminal communication rings, <laughs> I'm afraid. Unfortunate. The meddler has triggered a barrier, a defensive perimeter around the Ark's core. The barrier will be difficult to disable. How odd that my makers would place such a comprehensive defense around a single. Oh my. Is it a Chipotle? <laughs> Get past that or the will destroy it all. Gee, so, got a whole mess of <laughs> for some I was actually pretty hungry. Get back inside while, while we take him out. <laughs> so, Follow the oracle spot. I was basically thinking of my stomach of the dialogue. <laughs> I will help you sort to clear the sky. But yeah, <laughs> 500 years later, McDonald's is still everywhere. Every country, every planet. They even got McDonald's on the earth. <laughs> and Taco Bell. Hang tight, Chief. We're on our way. fast food again it's making me really hungry right now i think like once the stream's over i'm probably gonna like <laughs> actually like hit up taco bell or, or mcdonald's i don't know when we get closer i'll let you guys help me pick where to eat for dinner we'll see what i'm in the mood for Camo works on here too, if you're wondering. <laughs> ETA damn quick! Stand by for pickup! Priorities too. Until we kill truth, 
stop the rings from firing. Nothing else matters. All right, time for one of my favorite missions in all of Halo. <laughs> and we'll get more and more dialogue from me as the as we go on, because Chief talks more in the later missions. <laughs> Generators and the barrier will fall. A small second, yes. Good enough. Johnson, drop the chief at the first generator, then head to the third. The elites will punch right down the middle. Roger that. Charles, Fox Trot. Tower one approaches. Active triple A. something else to improve 3D scanning soon. I'm getting one of those like Intel real sense cameras. I hear they're actually pretty good for 3D scanning, like better than the Kinect. So that's something else I can probably like look out for too. But I, as for like just Kinect 3D scanning, I, I know like the results are a little iffy. A couple of you to moderators. I will beat the prophet shield like a drum. By the time the barrier falls, he will break the All right, there we go. Have fun. <laughs> Spark police troops can activate the rings at any time. You know, I might actually get Chipotle it after this. <laughs> That's where I'm bleeding right now. <laughs> in the galaxy, Halo will kill them all. Get to the first tower. Shut it down. Like, I don't know about, like, you guys, but, like, the Chipotle near me hasn't been so good lately. Like, they used to be alright, but, like, they're always, like, out of, like, ingredients now. Like, it, it's just... There's been, like, so many times I went there, and, like, they're just completely out of, like, what they need to make burritos and stuff like that. So, like, I can't, I can't actually order anything there. Third tower in sight. Good. The Arbiter and the Elites have touched out at number two. But I still go there, uh, frequently. <laughs> I can't like I just can't resist it. It's, it's so good. But I do also have Taco Bell on my mind now. Either one. Uh... Oh, leave that crap Kyle Young, if you want to, yeah, if you want to get started with, I'm not Kyle Young, I'm sorry. Um, well, it's a great song too, but Ethan, uh, if you want to get started with 3D scanning, just look up the app Polycam on the App Store. I, I, it should be for both Android and iPhones. So uh, you can just get that app and then 
You're gonna need someone to 3D scan you, because someone has to hold your phone and walk around you while taking using the app to take a bunch of pictures from of you from different angles. And then the app will just stitch all the pictures together and make a 3D model. That's what that's what we did for this model. That's how that's how it came to be. Now as for getting it into the game and like rigging it and everything, animation. That's a whole nother uh, story. <laughs> Chief, that's one. The Arbiter should be just about to... That's two. It's all up to Johnson's team now. Get back outside, Chief. Wait for transport. Johnson, come in. Over. Crew reinforcements, man. We're pinned down. I'm on my way. Negative. Fire's too heavy. Everyone fall back. Sergeant Major. Johnson. Can you hear me? Chief, you need to link up with the Arbiter and proceed directly to the third tower. Make your way back to the beach. <laughs> Get in, sir. Yeah, wait till you guys, <laughs> for those of you that's dropping by, wait till you guys see like later cutscenes. Those, well those are the best, <laughs> especially with this mod. No, Green Knight, don't spoil the, don't spoil the general kit campaign. <laughs> uh, Fluttershy, my favorite. Oh my god, <laughs> well, that's what happens when you read messages while driving. Uh, but anyways, Fluttershy, my favorite... Hey, no, my least favorite. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't don't uh, text and drive. But uh, my least favorite mission in Halo 3 would probably be... You know what? I'm probably gonna say the Ark. Yeah, I, I think my least favorite is probably the Ark. I was never really too into that mission. I know everybody hates like the mission Cortana or Floodgate. But I don't mind those missions actually. But the arc, I don't know. I just wasn't... Like it's not terrible, but I just never really enjoyed it that much. Uh, Supernova. I think there was a there was, there was an Halo 3 or MCC update like a month ago. I think it wasn't that long ago. It was like a small update, if I remember correctly. The last major update was probably like half a year ago or so. Would be my guess. Uh, Mikey Gogo. -Go. Um, so I, I have tried 3D scanning with the Kinect V2 before, and you can find like videos of people attempting it on YouTube as well. But from what I've seen and from my personal experience, the Kinect V2 is actually not that great at 3D scanning as you would think it is. But if you want to get like actual 3D scanning like hardware that's like affordable, uh, you might want to like look into um, Intel RealSense cameras. They uh, apparently they're actually really good for 3D scanning and. They actually work on modern PCs pretty well as well. So that's uh, something that actually might be... I, I haven't tried it yet. I'm still waiting for, to get one. But from what I've seen, you can get pretty good results with those. Much better than the Kinect. And portable too. You know, uh, Nightshade, I do get asked all the time about <laughs> my channel name and my gamer tag. Uh, so, in a nutshell, my channel name is General Kid. My gamer tag is General Heed. I actually prefer to go General Heed, my gamer tag. Um, but like, these are all gamer tags and usernames I came up with like when I was like, I don't know, six or seven years old. And like at the time, I obviously wasn't planning ahead to like make a YouTube channel or anything. So it's kind of like one of those usernames that like use and kind of stuck with now <laughs> unless I like totally rebrand my channel but uh yeah so it's whatever at the point but that's it that that's that's the only difference between the two names 
One's just my gamer tag. One's my channel name. There used to be a General D channel like a long time ago, but it was like glitched and I couldn't upload videos for some reason, so that's why I made the General Kid channel instead. Based off my rooms, switch, one of my RuneScape usernames. Anyways, cutscene time. I don't think there's any dialogue in this one, but you know, I'll let you guys watch it. Now, Prophet. Oh, uh, it's a laser Grand cruiser again. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that. I, I might have an idea why, but I don't know. I don't know why. Right, By the gods, brace for impact! Angry. Um, if you get like a brand new, like high-end RealSense camera, they are gonna be kind of expensive. But if you look on eBay, you can probably find some used ones at a pretty reasonable price. Not too, not too expensive. What's your status? Significant damage. Weapon system disabled. Move to a safe distance. Stay away from the flood. Why would the parasite come here? The arc is out of range of all the active installations. Priority. That's unfortunate, <laughs> but you know, if you ever do get a chance, you should definitely, the, uh, you should definitely check out the Intel Real. I'll, well, I'll, I'll, let you, I'll probably do more videos of this in the future of like using the Intel Real Sense camera, see like if it makes a huge difference. But from what I've, like I said, from what I've seen and read online, it does, it does make a difference. Also, uh, something I mentioned earlier in the stream, but like once, um, well, soon I'll, I'll put like a post out on Twitter, uh, asking people to like suggest, recommend their favorite like content creators to get like scanned in the Halo Reach, <laughs> and like which member of Ovaltine they should be once they get scanned in. Uh, I think that'd be a, that's like a, kind of like a fun dream collaboration. I don't know who would be like interested in that, but it'd be, I think it'd be pretty cool. <laughs> But, since you guys are here now, if you guys have any suggestions for, like, which content creator would be, like, a great fit for this mod, and then which member of Noble Team they should be, that would also be great. And, like, it really doesn't matter, like, who they replace, honestly, because, like, we're gonna change the voice as well, so... The content creator, it could be, like, it could be anyone, it doesn't really matter. I would love that hidden experience in this mod as well. <laughs> I, I, see, well I see like someone saying <laughs> hidden experience as a meal. <laughs> that could, that, yeah, that could work. <laughs> the flood scales the signal's far wall. Activate this three door. Alright. 
the time for the next cutscene. We tread the blessed path. In a moment I will light the rings, and all who believe shall be saved. Chief, how close are you? You should probably eat dinner without me. <laughs> <laughs> that the best you got? <laughs> yeah, I was very hungry while I'm making this mod. <laughs> Stop! You imbecile! He wants you to kill him. And yeah, uh, Ethan, I will be doing more videos on this. Because, uh, like, a after this the campaign version, I want to do a multiplayer version. Like, I want to have, like, a big What's team battle session. Big, <laughs> big team Slayer. With, like, with everyone start your as me. <laughs> I admit. Although, I <laughs> if I get scans of, like, other content creators and, like, I put them in a game, That's imagine doing, like, Team Slayer, like, each team is, like, a different, <laughs> different content creator. <laughs> team Hidden Xperia versus, like, Team Ubernick or something like that. That would be, like, the most Johnson, ridiculous thing to play mod ever. <laughs> get out of here! Not without you. You delay the inevitable. One of you will light the rings. You cannot hope to kill them all. You're right. Do it. Me. And you. Now. No! Your forefathers wisely set aside their compassion, steeled themselves for what needed to be done. I see now why they left you behind. You were weak, and gods must be strong. Too short to like perfectly fit Master Chief. <laughs> that, that's why I think they're like floating. I was looking forward to most of Starfield. So far, like, are we along the path? I was hoping like it'd be like Star Citizen, where yeah, you can just like take off on a, the surf, the planet, the surf, the surface of the planet, fly into space, and then like fly to any planet you want. But uh, I just found out today that's not the case. It's like it's gonna be like cutscenes in between. So I don't know. I think I'll still get Starfield. Anyways, cutscene again. Stop 
the rings. Save the rest. Can you see, Arbiter? The moment of salvation is at hand. It will not last. Your kind never believe in the promise of the sacred ring. Lives for the weak, beacons for the deluded. I will have my revenge on a prophet, on a plague. My feet tread the path. I shall become a god. You will be fooled. Nothing more. No!
When did you order food? Just now. But I had my hopes. What will you do? Eat it. Then we are agreed. A tactical boss will completely eradicate the local infestation. I will personally oversee the final preparations. Though it will take time to... I think, I think I was getting progressively more and more hungry as I was doing these lines. <laughs> All right, <laughs> two more missions left. <clears throat> Okay, that's hilarious. It's oversized onion ring. <laughs> Chief, I'll round up our survivors. Fall back to the dawn. Arbiter will do the same with the elites. <laughs> oh, Thomas, I, I didn't realize that, that was that bad there. <laughs> Yeah, Supernova. The, the secret skull did, Three for Three did fix that. I, I, I don't know when they fixed it, but it is fixed now. It doesn't fall off the map anymore. So, yeah, it is doable now. Although, if you saw my video, it's technically more of a glitch skull than an Easter egg skull or anything. I haven't seen Morbius, so I don't fully understand the meme. But I heard that movie wasn't great. <laughs> but I, I, I did, I did see that like people actually memed the movie back, <laughs> and then, like Sony thought it was like popular again or something. That was actually hilarious. I, I feel like I should, I should, I feel like I should actually see Morbius now just to like fully get that meme. <laughs> Ethan, actually, I did actually, I do have a separate version of this mod just for experiments, but I, I'm gonna try to find a way to like put it into like the main mod or a separate mod. But I do have a mod where I can get infected by the flood, and it just looks hilarious. Memories. Hilarious, hilariously cursed. And yes, perhaps a part of her remains. <laughs> sword. Uh, 
what? I just got disconnected from live. I don't want to remember. I don't. I'm not doing so off, anyways. Taught me patience, but asking in you, freedom, <laughs> I will know all yeah, green eyes, that right? <laughs> I possess. It's technically, like Grave Miner Cortana communicating with me psychically. <laughs> GLZZ, of course I'm as strong as Chief. <laughs> I've been I've been working out, can't you see? <laughs> been been lifting French fries from McDonald's. And my own. Uh, Ethan, I <laughs> I could not stand lasso. This is way too hard. I would not want to do like a playthrough of lasso. Unless I'm allowed to use cheat and mods <laughs> to cheat lasso. But I don't know. Yeah. Next scene's gonna be great. I, I already showed a couple people a sneak. Actually, yeah, I, I, I posted a sneak peek of this next scene. So, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you would have seen this already. But, uh, yeah, this one was pretty hilarious, too. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I'll let you guys watch it. You found me. So much of me is wrong, out of place. You might be too late. Didn't I tell you what I do when we get served extra food by mistake at a restaurant? You keep it. I do know how to pick them. I'm still hungry. Do you have any snacks? Activation index from the first Halo ring. A little souvenir I hung on to, just in case. What? I can't eat that. <laughs> Got an escape plan? I'll just get delivery from McDonald's and Burger King. Next thing's up a little, you know? <laughs> I, I think I'd be very bold by mixing McDonald's and Burger King. I bet no one's ever thought to do that before, ever. Now, at last I see the secret is revealed! I, 
need to buy some time. Chicken fries are great, but if you ever had the jalapeno you know, chicken fries Start a Burger chain King, reaction. they were so Destroy good. High charity. Or, what was the jalapeno? I think it was like ghost pepper chicken fries or something like that. Oh my god. Could not get enough of that. Here we go, final mission. <laughs> wow, well, it sounds like I dodged the bullet with the, with the Taco Bell ball. Anyways, here we go. <clears throat> we are aboard. Humans and elites. Will you not come with us, brother? No. This is our fight. And I will see you finished. Johnson, do you have the frigate? Yes, ma'am. I'll land her as close to the control room as I can. Safe is better than close, Sergeant Major. Roger that. Ma'am, it's good to have you back. sure what will happen when we fire it. We'll go to Taco Bell. And we'll get burritos to go. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, uh, Pupper God. 
So the, the 3D models, they were all just scanned with an app on my phone, uh, to put it in a nutshell. The app is called Polycam, if you want to check it out. It should be on Android and iPhone. But you'll probably need a friend to help you scan uh, some, yourself into 3D. Yeah, I was gonna get Chipotle after this, but now, now I kinda wanna talk about it. It's gonna look hilarious in third person. Flood Actually, it's probably gonna be very hard in first person. Control room third at the top person. of that tower, Chief. I'm gonna attempt the grenade jump now. <laughs> Get on top of that. I made it! <laughs> third person grenade jump. Uh, actually, I did not. I did not T pose for the scan. Uh, with with Master Chief to replace Master Chief. It's more of like an arms in front kind of pose, like kind of like that. Uh, a T pose without work though, actually. Ooh, oh my god, who's gonna. Oh, you went away, I got pizza you hut. back. Now I cut off Pizza Hut, man. <laughs> but it's. I don't know. I love Pizza Hut. <laughs> Spark, you in there? Open the damn door. Of course, Ripley. Just as soon as you dispose of all the boxes, I'm afraid contamination. Do not allow. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Is that the monitor? You didn't tell me he was here. Well, we are finally doing what he wanted. Should do it. <laughs> this next cutscene is going to be great, too. <laughs> Open up. Ghost is clear. Not for long. I'm tracking additional dispersal pods. They'll be hitting any minute. Chief. Oh my God, drop. <laughs> I got. I don't know. I don't know if it was you, but I, I saw that comment from someone else on the first video I posted of this. <laughs> Do I take life or give it? Who is victim and who is foe? It's trying to rebuild itself on this ring. Hurry. Yeah, uh, TV. I'm pretty sure, like, if this posture was in real life, it would be very bad. <laughs> Especially long term. <laughs> Alright guys, here we go, next cutscene. This is uh, another <laughs> good one I get a kick out of a lot. <laughs>
Yank me, Chief. I'm not gonna lose her, too. news. The installation is almost complete. Terrific. Yes, isn't it? I have begun my simulations. No promises, but initial results indicate this facility should be ready to fire in just a few more days. We don't have a few more days. B -b but a premature firing will destroy the Ark. Deal with it. We'll destroy this installation. Ah! Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. <laughs> Protocol dictates action! I see now that helping you was wrong! You are the child of my makers! Inheritor of all they left behind! You are Forerunner! But this ring is mine! See, Johnson... Johnson wore the wrong clothing today. He shouldn't have worn marine armor. We all know marine armor in Halo 3 is this. He shouldn't have been wearing the same t-shirt as me. I Johnson take no fine. pleasure in doing what must be done. You do not deserve this ring. I have kept it safe. It belongs to me. Not for long. Oh, we're in first person. Alright, well, you guys were wondering what it's like in first person. We didn't, we didn't do first person models. It is possible, but we opted for a uh, third person. But for some reason, I missed the Spartan Laser. So, this Spartan Laser is going to be in first person. I'll be sure to fix that. Alright, now we can go back to third person. <laughs> But right now, first person is just gonna be cheap. Anyways, cutscene. I'm going to eat your leftover fries. <laughs> no, no, you're not. No, don't let her go. Don't ever. Send me out. for Johnson's fries. Is it mine now? That running animation just looks so ridiculous on me. <laughs> I am sorry, Spark. Come. is on the other side. Yeah, I'll have to check out all these screenshots you guys are posting in my Discord server later. 
I, get, I, I don't have my Discord open at the moment, but I'll, I'll definitely check it out later. <laughs> it's gonna be a probably a few hilarious moments. <laughs> Definitely a few are wallpapers, would be. Don't let this ring be the end of us, Chief. There! Johnson's Warthog! Come on, Spartan! Go, go, go! <laughs> you guys are monsters. <laughs> this is like distracted driving right now. <laughs> oh yeah, totally random thought, but like I. I said it earlier, I'll explain why I still use Internet Explorer. <laughs> I never did. But, I like Internet Explorer still, because you guys ever like use Chrome or something and you want to save a picture from a website, but then when you save it, it gives it to you in like that WebP format. It's so annoying to convert that. Well, with Internet Explorer, it just gives it to you in like a JPEG or PNG format. That's why Internet Explorer is great, guys. <laughs> I'm... I'm General Kid, and I like Internet Explorer. There. Oh yeah, if you guys want a screenshot moment, um, you can find somewhere safe to slow down for a second. Here we go, screenshot. Need a Warthog screenshot if you want that. <laughs> gotta be quick though, because I gotta go.
awesome plug. I, I agree. This is like my favorite Halo theme ever. Well, it's, it's, like, it's one of my favorite theme songs like, in anything ever. Classic Halo theme. Firing sequence initiated. Screenshot moment here. <laughs> Jabob's <laughs> the grass on your front lawn is pretty much immortalized in this mod now. <laughs> For us, the storm has passed. The war is over. But let us never forget those who journeyed into the howling dark and did not return. Their decision required courage beyond measure. Sacrifice and unshakable conviction that their fight, our fight, was healthy. Yeah, awesome bug. <laughs> As we start if to I, rebuild, if I inherit, this like, hillside will remain barren. It would look, it would a look memorial so bad. <laughs> to heroes fought. Uh, they ennobled all of us. Cruiser. And they shall not be forgotten. I have no idea why it's doing that. Freeze it! Up! I remember how this war started. What your kind did to mine. I can't forgive them. But you have my thanks for standing by him to the end. Part of the lady's dead. Were it so easy? <laughs> I don't know why it's did that, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess it didn't get the memo that the flood are gone. <laughs> Awesome pug. That'll be the next thing I do with this, is to put Things myself to replace the uh, Spartans the and Elites and Multiplayer. So that you can have like, like Free For All Slayer, uh, Team Slayer, whatever, where everyone is playing as me. <laughs> Fear not, for we have made this By your word, Arbiter. Take us home. <laughs> looks so weird. Well, that should be it for the laser cruiser. That's like the secondary meme of this video. <laughs> laser cruiser just popping in randomly. I 
Alright. <laughs> now, for the final lines. <laughs> Chief? Can you hear me? I thought I'd lost you, too. Where's our food? I'm not sure. When Halo fired, it shook itself to pieces, with a number on the Ark. The portal couldn't sustain itself. We made it through just as it collapsed. Well, some of us made it. <laughs> yeah, I, could, I can totally float in space without a suit on or anything. <laughs> All I need is a t-shirt and shorts. Yeah, angry, right? These are the long-term effects of space travel, of, of zero, of zero G on a human body. <laughs> Bet you did it. Truth and the Covenant, the Flood, it's finished. I highly doubt it. I'll drop a beacon, but it'll be a while before anyone finds us. Years even. I miss you. Just subscribe to my channel, General Kid, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, that's me. <laughs> <laughs>I cannot wait to do this for Halo 2 and ODSD and eventually get other people in for Halo Reach. <laughs> Alright, well, there you guys have it. That is the mod, at least the campaign version. Like I said, I will be doing a multiplayer version soon, and I'm going to try to get some people to get there soon for a playtest where everyone is playing as me in Halo 3 multiplayer. So that is going to be really fun, so keep an eye out for that soon. And I will also uh, get this, get my 3D model to other Halo games as well, just for the heck of it as well. So Halo 2 will probably be next, then ODST, and then soon I'm going to put out a tweet to, uh, to see if any other content creators will be interested in getting scanned into Halo Reach when the modules come out so that uh, we can have like Halo Reach but each member of Noble Team is a different Halo content creator so that should be uh, pretty fun but as for this mod right now it is um there are a few small bugs here and there but I'm gonna quickly fix them after the stream well, after I get my Chipotle <laughs> um, and then when I get back from Chipotle I'm gonna fix this mod a little bit and I'm gonna upload it to Nexus Mods I'll, I'll announce it in a YouTube community post and um on a uh, on Twitter as well and probably on my Facebook for those of you that follow that too so the, the download link will be posted there on Nexus uh, from Nexus so keep an, eye, keep an eye out for that and soon you guys will be to play this mod for yourself as well so yeah and uh as for tutorials about how to do this I'll, I'll think about how to do that it, it's a little bit of a complex process not, not, not just the 3d scanning part but like preparing the model that's a little bit of a complex process, but I'll, I'll, I'll find a way to do, do a tutorial or some some alternative to that, so also stay tuned for that. But aside from that, it's Chipotle time. <laughs> so thanks for dropping by, guys, and it's been a while since I've live streamed, but it's been fun. I hope you guys had fun too and enjoyed, and I'll try to live stream again soon as well. But once again, thank you for dropping by. Thank you, Green Knight. Thank you, Jabobs. And thank you, Abyss, for moderating. Oh, and of course, big thanks to Jabobs for helping me with uh, importing the model in the first place and 3D scanning me. That was a really fun project. But yeah, um, once again, 
thanks for dropping by and uh, feel free to hang around a chat afterwards to keep spamming the letter B as well. I have no idea what that's go what that's about. But yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, have a good day or a good night everyone, depending on where